Today, Kevin and I want to review two different kinds of Keebler cookies for you. I have the Vienna Fingers. These are cream-filled cookies. And I have the E.L. Fudge uh, butter sandwich cookies with fudge cream filling. And these were $2.50 each at Walmart. And a while back, LOL21432 had asked me, that's the username on YouTube, had asked me, have I ever had these Vienna Fingers? No, I had not. So I made sure that I bought some. They um, are, you get two cookies for 150 calories. Yes. I'm not going to ask you which one you want to try first. Mmm, they smell good. I think it's just a basically a vanilla sandwich cookie. Let me see if I can show it close up. Yes, please. There's the cookie. You know what it looks like. And then if I pull apart, there's the green. There are 24 of these cookies in the container. Huh? No, you don't. Oh, okay. Um, I'm thinking I've had these a long time ago. It smells like a vanilla wafer. Like a vanilla wafer. I can tell you what it reminds me of. A gold Oreo? It reminds me of a gold Oreo, yeah. Even simpler than that, though, it reminds me of an animal cracker. The, the cookie is dead on. Yes, or... the cookie is is the same exact thing as an ammo cracker, but then you have the cream in the middle. Um, what kind of would you compare that to Oreo cream? Kind of like a vanilla, yeah, vanilla cream. Yeah, um, I have had these. It's been a long time ago. I think the same thing now as I did then. They're kind, they're of, kind of they're kind of boring. They're kind of plain. Yeah, they're kind of plain. They're not bad. It's a, it's a good cookie, but it's not a cookie that I would buy all the time. This would be good if you put it in a bowl, like a round bowl with some pudding or something in the middle of it. Yes. Use this as like a the outside, like a vanilla wafer on the outside, and right. so vanilla wafers use something like that. That would be right. neat. That would be kind of a neat thing to do with it. Just eating them by themselves though. They're kind of plain. They these would be a good tea biscuit or coffee biscuit. Yeah, they, they crumble up in ice cream to give you a crunch, something like that. Something, you know? yes, yes. Something to add a little flavor to them because they are kind of kind of boring. They're, they're they are a little bit, yeah. All right, these are the, like that said the yellow fudge. These are basically chocolate versions of those, or chocolate cream in the middle. These are 180 calories for two or 90 calories each. That's 90 calories, yeah, I did. 90 calories per cookie. That's a lot. And how much for these? Like 75? 75. 75. 75 calories for these and then 90, 90 calories for these. Oh, and you get the little elf. It says these, um, no, that one says buckets. This says Elwood. His this one says buckets. This little, this little man's name buckets. is Elwood. What's his name? Oh, they're different ones. Yeah. Elwood. Elwood. Bucket. Buckets. Are you sure it says bucket and it's not? It's I think deep. it's bouquet. Elwood. <laughs> That's the only two I see. Okay. But it looks like there's a, something else on the front of that one. Yeah, look. This one says uh, Fast oh. Eddie. Fast I'm not going to be able to get all these. There's Ernie. Oh, cool. Well, we gotta lay them out and I'll try to get a picture of them. I'll show you a picture of just one of them because I'll show you a picture of uh, oh, this one, cool. Elwood. Yeah. I'll show you a picture of Elwood, but they uh, they all have, they don't all, but there are some different um, characters on there. There we go. There's the character. And on the back, it says, what does it say on the back? Uh, on the back of mine, it said uncommonly good, but now no, yours doesn't say that. This one says from the hollow tree. Oh, and see, this one says uncommonly good. And there's the. It fudge. says dunk head first. Yeah, uncommonly good. Yeah, that, so, that's cool. I wonder if it's just the four. Now we'll be going through there to make sure we got them all. It's definitely not a sweet cookie. I, I like it better. No, mm, yeah, the chocolate has a little bit different flavor to it, but I don't know that I'd buy either one of these again. It's good. It's just not excellent. These remind me 
of the type of cookies that um, your granny would have in the cabinet, <laughs> or that uh, you would buy for your church, the little kids at church. Oh, like yeah. if you're the Sunday school teacher, and if you want to take in cookies for your Sunday school class, this kind of reminds me of what you would get because you get so many cookies in one package, and they're kind of bland. So you could get the Vienna fingers, you could get like the plain vanilla cookie, and the kids are gonna like it, or you could get the ones with the fudge, and, and you know, they're gonna like it. So they're just kind of, um, they're both kind of okay. They're not, um, they're not Oreo, that's for sure. No, they're, um, they're okay. They're, it's not something I would, like I said, I, I probably wouldn't buy them again, but um, Keebler's not my favorite brand anyway. Keebler's really disappointing. You know, when I was a kid, I used to think they were wonderful. But when you're a kid, you don't know any better because this is what your Sunday school teacher's bringing you all the time. <laughs> yeah, you don't know any better and you think that this is it. For school parties or whatever. Right, right. A school party. Any kind of a party like that. If you're having that kind of a thing, this is what I would recommend that you buy these because you get a lot. And if you're only giving one of each to each kid, you know, it's, it's a pretty it's, good size cookie. Yeah, yeah, it's a really good size cookie. So those are the only four characters. Okay. And these are the only three bags. There's so there's three different sayings on the back and four characters. I will take a close up picture because they really are cute. It's funny. I like that they've done this with them. And uh, so anyway, I'm glad that. Um, um, LOL. LOL 21432. I do appreciate you recommending these because um, I had not had these before at all. So these were really cool to try. So I hope everyone else enjoyed it and thanks for watching.